Good morning. Since this session is in English, I will be speaking English, also because it's fun to uh, speak English. Before I uh, introduce uh, Professor Shoemaker, I have to, this will be my only chance to say hello or goodbye or whatever you say in the of occurrence to Akiva. Akiva and I worked for 15 years at least uh, together at Hebrew University. He was basically the person more than anybody else that uh, brought, me into the, brought me into the department, taught me what I needed to know to get through the politics and the research and the teaching, and I'm grateful for that. I, by the way, also had one of these sessions last year, and it's wonderful because you get to hear all the eulogies without dying. Okay, it's a, it's a wonderful, you know, you don't, I'm actually, you know, as you know, I started teaching in IDC. I should tell Noah, I'm thinking of retiring again in about three years. It's just, it's just so much fun. Um, Akiva and I also edited a book together, Frame the Intifada, which I think was certainly the best book I edited. Um, but I don't like edited books. But I think it was, a, I think it was, it was a good exercise. And we were also the two major quantitative people at the time. Uh, in uh, communication, although both of us have done qualitative work, but apparently as long as you can count, you are in fact a quantitative person. And uh, basically I want to say thank you and, and just to say that I think that what I most admire about Akiva is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm for research, enthusiasm for starting new things, taking on challenges, taking on the work, including the editor of our uh, a journal, uh, Megamot, um, and he's still, I'm sorry, not Megamot, sorry, sorry. That was, yeah, that was right. Mizgarot Bedia, the new, uh, the Kitab, uh, the um, new uh, journal. And then, of course, founding a department to compete with Hebrew University, which was really nice uh, of you to do. Um, I will say one thing, just a historical anecdote, that um, when we voted to start the first BA, many of you may know that we only had an MA and PhD at Hebrew University, and Akiva voted, wanted to start a BA and got a very generous contribution and managed to organize everything, and I voted against. Um, and, uh, and of course, I lost, and I still think I was right, by the way, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, but of course, that started all of the departments of communication that exist today in Israel. In other words, until we were the uh, first to initiate that, that wasn't even considered a possibility to have a BA in communication. And of course, now it's hard to it's hard to cross the street without finding another department of communication. Um, so thanks for starting that competition as well. That was, uh, that was very nice. Um, so basically, I want to say thank you, especially for those early years we spent together. Um, and uh, thank you on behalf of the field, uh, both in Israel and abroad, which have contributed so much to all of us. So thank you. Now, Pamela Shoemaker. Uh, I assume most of you have seen her on your syllabi or given it or taught her on your syllabi, one of the most top researchers, of course, in the world in the field of journalism and news. It's impossible to teach a course on news without using one of your books. She is the John Ben Snow Professor of Public Communication at Syracuse University since 1994, before that a professor of Ohio State, and before that the University of Texas at Austin, and we were just, unfortunately, we're both old enough to remember all that and uh, written and edited by my count, and it's hard to count because they're translated with citations in Mandarin and one in this language and that language, but if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me, I found 10 books written and edited, 11, 12, anyway, around there, okay? Um, and to make myself feel really bad this morning, because I really wasn't feeling bad enough, I had to look out the number of times you were cited. Uh, for those that don't know, we have this citation index we use. How many times is your work cited? Um, and I really didn't want to look, because I knew it would be bad. And sure enough, um, from 87 different publications, 4,700 citations in different articles. Um, so that gives you some idea of the impact um, panelists had on the, uh, on the field. Uh, her awards, I'll just mention a few, Mediating the Message, written with Steve Reese, which I understand uh, was, was named one of the most significant books in the 20th century by, well, it's already the 21st, what have you done for us lately? Um, by journalism and, excuse me, the new edition's coming out. Okay, that answers my question by the Journalism and Mass Communication, News Around the World, with uh, Shoemaker and Cohen, <clears throat> was named one of the top 10 resources for teaching undergraduates about the role of the media. Distinguished Editor Award by the Association of Education and Journalism and Mass Communication, and 1990 receipt of the uh, Under 40 Award from the Association for Education and Journalism for Outstanding Achievement in Teaching and Research and Okay, you get it. In other words, this is really, uh, we're very, very honored and uh, we're happy that uh, you came back to Israel. This is probably your third trip, probably at least, probably your third or fourth trip to Israel. And we're always very honored and very happy that you came to join us. So thank you.